vision very differently. Um, obviously, the bias is out. I refer to that as the boss of all of us. Hello, my name is Damon. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. As you saw, Wednesday's video was just dance, and we danced together, and honestly had fun doing that. So I thought, why not do another trendy thing? Is just dance trendy? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But today we're going to be doing glow up challenge. We're going to try and do this video as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Right now it's not aesthetically pleasing, but hopefully it is later on in this video. Basically the glow up like transformation videos are very trendy, but also I really like watching people do it and like the transformations are really cool. I feel like they're very like um self, you know. They're very helpful for oneself as in like it makes you feel more it builds self-esteem makes you feel more self-empowering that's the word <laughs> it's self-empowering and i honestly want to do something like that today um since we're still going through quarantine health quarantine i felt that we should do something very cute and something that i can do at home but also have a whole stuff at home for it i have a lot of outfits that i honestly can't use on a daily basis just being home and even when i was like in self-quarantine i had no reason to wear that either because of the fact that i don't go outside anyways so i don't go to parties and this dress that I'm going to be wearing is too elegant for that. So yeah, I was planning to use it for my birthday, but I don't even know if by my birthday we can even go outside. So, <laughs> so I'm planning to wear it. I'm planning to do a whole self transformation. Um, I'm not going to be self tanning because I'm already pretty tan. I might just use my summer shade on my legs and my face because the palest part of my body is my legs. Um. So yeah, we're going to just be glowy and try and do our best. And I hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm definitely going to enjoy doing this video. It's going to definitely be fun for me. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and do it, shall we? First things first, we're going to take a shower. I have everything I need to take a shower. I'm just lazy to do it. So let's go and do that first. Okay. Oh. I just got out the shower. My hair still has conditioner in it. I'm gonna shave my legs and then go back and rinse out the leave-in conditioner I have in my hair. I'm gonna try and put my bonnet if I find it. Oh, wait, never mind, I found it. So <laughs> let me record me trying to shave my legs. <laughs> so as you can see, this is my electric razor, which I couldn't use because it lost battery. So I had to use a regular razor, which you know needs water. I didn't want to go ahead and record in my bathroom because, as you know from later on in the video, that's highly impossible. So here is me trying to shave my legs in my room with a cup of water. So in the meantime, while my face, yeah, my face. In the meantime, while my hair is drying, I'm going to dermal plane. So I'm using a regular eyebrow shaper. I used it for my eyebrows. One day I'll record how I do my eyebrows because honestly, they look really nice for how they looked beforehand. Yes, when I'm going to do my makeup, I am going to try and fill the ends because the front is perfectly fine. I don't have to do anything to that, but it's just the end that needs to be a little darker. But first, I'm going to dermal plane. The reason why I dermal plane is because it's easier to get makeup on and also to cleanse my face. So yeah. I have the mirror here, and it's as close as I possibly can without disrupting the um, camera. So we're going to just start shaving. I need my glasses for this too, so don't worry about me. As you can see, I love to ramble, but today we're not going to ramble because I'm just going to speed up every single part of this video. Now this side is a lot smoother. There's more noticeable of hair. 
This side, you might see I have some hairs. This side, not much hairs. So, yeah. Hi, so this is how my hair looks completely dry. It's honestly beautiful texture. I really love my natural hair texture. Like, what? This is my natural hair, just like how beautiful and curly it is. I could just leave it like that, but I do want some length and I do want it kind of straight so I can produce more length because I do have extensions, but if I try and put extensions in and curl it like how my natural hair is gonna curl, it's not gonna look right, okay? So we're gonna straighten it. I prefer to straighten it because my extensions are straight. I did curl them, like I crimped my um, extensions. You probably saw it in a previous video I'm gonna put in the card up there just so you guys know what I mean and how I did it. It was for a sweet 16 that I and I recorded my makeup process. It was one of the voiceover videos that I did. Um, so yeah, we're going to straighten it together. I already have my straightener here. I brought the straightener a long time ago and it's honestly really good. I have this um, heat protecting spray. It's actually really good as well. The brush I use to comb through my naps. I got some an alligator clip and a regular clip, and I also have this elastic. This came from like those um it's some weird type of like bracelet type hair tie, but like this was going inside and it like the outer layer broke, so I just have this now. And then I also have my extensions here, which like I said, you saw before. They smell really good. I straightened them, but they probably need to be re-straightened. I don't know. So I'm just going to section off my hair real quick, and then we'll get started with the process of straightening my hair. And we'll be back once my hair is completely straightened. Editing you here again. Just coming back to say that, um... Yeah, there's nothing really for me to say here. I'm just, I hope you guys are still watching. So, I'm done, and it looks like this. Oh, it looks like this. The, I cut my, like, spine was probably horrible looking, but when I put my instructions in, it looked better. I um, like really bad split ends, but it looks now. And before you say how oh, you cut them, like, so it is too short, my hair was already in layers, but I just fixed the and so it can be better straightened. Yeah, but this is my natural. This is how long my hair is. I don't know what I'm going to put so. Yeah. So, I don't know my hair. I'm going to start fixing up my face. I'll see you then. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wear contacts, so I should actually put those in after I do my skincare, cause, girl. But what I'm gonna do first is wash my face. Uh, let me actually show you what I'm gonna wash my face with. That took forever to look for, and I have a mess on the floor. But this is what I usually like to clean my face with because honestly, this is really good. And it's also really cheap. I got it in Ulta and also if my voice seems very deep, it's because it's the morning. I'm not a morning person. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using this on my face and then I'm going to do all the rest of the skincare and then put on my contacts. I wear clear contacts because I am blind. I cannot see to save my life. You probably saw it how many times in my videos, me having to do this when I'm trying to read. So we're gonna clean our face, do the rest of the skincare on camera, put on my contacts, and then start my makeup. So I'll be back. So now I'm gonna brush my teeth again because I ate something. And my phone keeps on falling every time I do this. So we're gonna do this in my room. I hate this. So, I'm back in my room. As you can see, this is my teeth whitening thing. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. On my teeth. I have my contacts in. I had like the sweet spot, and then my mom had to use the bathroom. Always me. I think we have to leave it for five minutes, so I don't know, but that's that's there. Um, I'm gonna start putting this on now. 
Eh. It's a little nice though. But, you know, you gotta do this often. And I didn't do often. Um, I cleaned it off. So I'm gonna do another layer of cleaner. So this is just skincare right now. Um, so yeah. We're gonna do that. I went ahead and like removed what I had in my mouth. Uh, I'm doing skincare before I start my makeup. And I'm probably going to fast forward through my makeup because this is not the point of this video. The majority of this video is definitely going to be fast forward. But we'll see how that works. So now I'm going to just do my makeup. Like I said, this is going to be fast forward. I already have like around about 50 minutes of footage that I just shortened up to like less than 50 minutes. So we're going to just go ahead and start my makeup. Oh, yeah, I need it. Before I go, I'm going to use this foundation because this is my summer foundation and it's like the most dark and tan foundation I have. So yeah, a lot of these glow up videos is literally you glowing and melanin and all that stuff. So I'm going to try to emulate that with foundation instead of doing a tan because I'm not going to buy a tan for a video. I'm not going outside to buy a tan for a video. And Amazon is taking forever to send me things. So we're going to go ahead and just do this to save lives and money. Now that I look like Donald Trump's long lost sister, um, we're going to put concealer. I put a little bit of it down my neck because this is like darker, like way darker than how I look naturally because... It's winter, my dudes, and we trying to look like we're in midsummer. So we gotta do some things to help this mess out, which is concealer. We're gonna do concealer and powder, and then put some down my neck, which I already did. So let's go do that. So I'm gonna try out this lipstick. I wanted like an orangey lipstick. I think this one's good. This one's matte. By NYX, but I don't know if I want it and put it because I want a darker one. I might choose a darker one to be honest. But you, yeah, darker one it is. So this one is by Pity Pitta, and I like how like brick orange it is. Like, not ready. Well, don't mix together, it's honestly. Hold up. Oh. Yeah, I like it better. Okay. That's uh, definitely cute. So, I forgot to start recording this little thing. I have my music on that you can see the ones that go a lot longer. I did decide I already started doing these pieces. But I'm gonna start. I'm gonna show you how to do these pieces real quick. So I just put on two ends like this, to the, end, the ends of it, and then going inwards, and then starting to twist it like so, and that just creates a little cute beach weight type curl, or whatever. So I'm doing that with the end pieces, though. I'm taking these end pieces and just doing that over and over slowly just to frame the hands and the face. You see that looks cute. And this just helps blend in the extensions with the hair. 
also makes it look less weird because I do have so I'm just gonna do these last two pieces. Yeah, so that's the hair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change to my dress and then fix up my legs. We're gonna try and tan them up for this. So yeah, let's be back for that, I guess. You're gonna see the final look in one, two, three. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? No way, this is not me. This is not. I hope you enjoy this video. It's a little different thing to do for this Saturday. I wanted to do something cute and I feel like I look cute. I usually don't wear lashes so this is definitely an experience for me. My hair, I rarely wear extensions and do my hair in this style because I feel like I can never really accomplish it but I did it this time and this dress I never wore it and this is like pro nip slip and I'm not pro nip slip so um well at least for me I was gonna change my earrings but I end up not so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it it was really fun and I hope I could do something similar next time see ya love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this week's video bye